Let's get into it. Number 10, Paddy the Baddy Pimblet. Now, recency bias may be factoring into this choice here, but it is hard to think of too many other fighters who have captured the imagination of UFC fans quite like the Baddy Paddy Pimblet has. The reality is, he's one of the most talked about and most Google fighters on the UFC roster, and he's only had a handful of fights in the UFC. Really is incredible. His performances, listen, so far, they've been electrifying, but if you're a young, promising talent, well, isn't that the idea? They, they should all be electrifying. But what is setting the paddy, the baddy apart is his ability to connect with an audience even when he's not fighting, right? The paddy has that cheeky scouse charisma, that cheeky scouse humor working for him, and he has the type of belief that draws an audience in. Some love it, I do. But even if you don't like it at all, you have a strong emotional reaction to the guy, and that is what promotion is all about. But yeah, I knew this was going to happen, lad. Knew this was coming. Uh, I've envisioned all this, lad. I can't wait to get my hand raised on Saturday and when there's pandemonium in the crowds. I interviewed Paddy in the Octagon after his first win in the UFC when he beat. Uh, he took a massive shot from Luigi Benjamini to win inside the very first round. I mean, can you imagine all the adrenaline and emotions that were going through his head? And he still came up with a line that was so good that it instantly became a mean. I'm a scouser. We don't get knocked out. Right. And that confidence is only growing as he keeps getting more and more fights. He gets finished sharpish, lad. Sharpish. He's not on my level. It's as simple as that. He's, he's garbage compared to me, lad. Just wait until Paddy reaches main event status and he's doing massive PR tours, right? He's not even done one of those big press conferences with Dana White. Can you imagine? Hundreds of media and thousands of fans to play off. And then combine that, right, if he goes up against another fighter that can also talk. I mean, come on. Then that is when we are really going to be in for a full frontal assault on the earlobes from Paddy the Baddy.